So uh, I recently had to reformat, and I thought it'd be a good idea, being on a roll here, to kind of show you um, how to optimize your PC, um, and basically how I have it set up. Um, so basically, this is for Windows only, particularly Windows Seven. Uh, you, sh if you're doing music, you should really be sticking to Windows Seven. Uh, because it's quite good um, uh, for you know all the fun audio stuff you do. Windows 8 basically nothing works and it's incompatible, um, and your drivers probably don't support it that well. And uh, myself, I'm going to be using Windows 7 for a couple more years. Um, so yeah, basically, easy trick. Uh, and it's the best trick is to download the latest drivers and install them. Um, and once you do that, you know, uh, reboot and all that fun stuff. Uh, a little trick that not a lot of people know about, if you're using external uh, stuff, what you want to do is you go start, uh, right click my computer, properties, you get this. Um, I only have six gigabytes because I'm awesome. Um, and you go to your device manager and you look at this, if you're using Firewire, Firewire is probably on its way out, make sure you have the Texas Instruments um, driver installed. You go and you, uh, you update, basically, you could browse, and you look, you pick whatever. Um, yeah, hopefully I didn't do that too fast. What you want to do is, uh, if you are having dropouts, particularly with Motu stuff, you're going to want to go Legacy or Texas Instruments. I picked this motherboard out strictly because it had uh, the Texas Instruments uh, compliant controller um, and if you're wondering it's an EVGA X58 SLI uh, they don't make it anymore and the socket is no longer supported it's, but yeah that makes me sad so you're gonna want to do that then you're gonna go and you're gonna look at how many processors I have and then you're gonna go to sound video and game controllers now these this is what I do after I install everything is I go through everything I'm not going to be using, like the onboard audio, and I'm just going to disable. And that will free up your I.O., basically. Um, and it's a, it's a good way to kind of go through it all. And you can see I'm using the important stuff, the mic I'm talking into right now, um, the, the audio 6, um, the webcam, uh, the high definition audio because I have a send going in to record sound uh, my keyboard um, uh, virtual audio cable which is a driver I use to route audio and my virus TI and that's basically it and the USB yeah there's a lot of USB so you see what's what's connected in there so once you've done that that's cool you're good to go in the same window you're gonna want to kind of go here and then you're going to want to select performance. Now this is the easiest way to boost your performance of your sound cards and all that fun stuff. You go advanced and you adjust best performance of background services. Background services is uh, your sound card and you know uh, your MIDI I.O. Um, and all that fun stuff and it kind of prioritizes that. Um, and that will kind of it prioritizes your sound see this it's prioritizing this over you know anything else and it's just a good idea to do um, and that's that's basically it I have disabled arrow because I hate it and it, it's kinda of pointless and the peak I don't have the peak um, and but I have a bunch of other stuff I'll go through and turn it off later it doesn't really bog it down um, and that is hold on yeah and that is how you go through and uh, you make you optimize your computer to work well with audio uh, because a lot of its real-time you want to prioritize the background services um, also uh, make sure your drivers for your sound card is up to date if you're not using a sound card go to ASIO for all or Google ASIO for all and you get the latest ASIO drivers and uh, that will make it all and nice and neat, and then you can play synth like me. 
Uh, take care and good